Today I'm sharing with you the story about how to make a delicious cheeseburger pizza recipe with mustard and pickles and there's even sesame seeds on the pizza crust. So the first thing that you want to do is make the burger pizza topping and so you just want a brown ground beef burger meat. You add the ground beef, some diced onions and olive oil to a large skillet set on medium or medium high on the stove. Add some salt and pepper and keep stirring the burger meat until done. This only takes about 10 minutes but you need to have either leftover burgers that are chopped up or fully cooked burger meat before adding it to the pizza. So then it's time to stretch out the pizza dough. I have an awesome tutorial on Sip by Go on how to stretch pizza dough. One thing I like to recommend is that you let the pizza dough hang out on a windowsill for a few hours or the full day before making the pizza. Then it's time to stretch the dough and it'll be way easier to do. So you can bake this pizza in the oven, smoke it on the Traeger grill, or you could regular barbecue grill the pizza on a pizza stone, which I'm gonna show you here. So what you see is that I'm making the sauce that's gonna go on the pizza, getting that all ready, cause this is all gonna happen very, very quickly. So to grill the pizza, you want to first make sure that the pizza stone is preheating already while the grill is warming up so it doesn't crack. And then you can go ahead and season the outside crust. Now, one thing I like to do is usually add salt to the crust, which you see there's some olive oil on there as well. But for this particular version, I like to make this pizza with sesame seeds on the crust to give it that pizza bun feel. So on goes that pizza sauce, which here is a mixture of mayo and ketchup, similar to you, what you'd expect in a cheeseburger, like a Big Mac or something. Then on goes the mozzarella cheese, and then you add on the ground burger meat that's already been cooked and seasoned, all of that. It's coming together nicely, but then I added some more cheese. This on top is cheddar cheese, and I think that really is, you know, what gives it the cheese burger look when it melts. So pop that back on the smoker. What you see is the first time all we did was par bake the pizza dough, which I also recommend if you're using in the oven or if you're smoking your pizza. Then what happened is we put on the toppings and then when the cheese was all nice and melted and the bottom was golden brown and the crust was brown, then it's time that the pizza is ready to come off the grill. This really happens in only about 10 to 15 minutes. That's as long as it takes for this step, the final step where the toppings are melting together. But the pizza's not done quite yet. There's just a little bit more that we have to do. So you can adjust this for your likings, like what you would normally put on top of a burger it should go on this burger pizza. But on my cheeseburger pizza, I put some pickles. I really like fresh dill pickles or butter pickles. Then some Dijon mustard, but you could use whatever type of mustard or condiment that you like on your cheeseburgers. And then it was time to enjoy. This is a really tasty recipe, but I do have some others for you to check out at Sip Bite Go for interesting pizzas, including, look at this, Philly cheesesteak pizza. Again, that's at Sip Bite Go. Well, let me know if you make this, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers.